Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of In today's video, we're back playing Inscription. So I didn't post last week because the videos that I was able to get were kind of reruns of what I'd already done. Game's gonna have a lot of reruns going on in it. So I didn't have time to record stuff for last week, last week. So I just skipped the week, but I was gonna keep recording until I found something new. And I just picked up a card that looked like a skeleton, but I didn't mean to like pick it up before I started recording, but I got a little excited, I guess. So I'm finna see what that's all about. I also am upset because the round before this one, I was getting close to the end. I lost on some dumb shit, basically. Uh, but I had a really good hand where I had a rabbit's warren. And when you place down a rabbit's warren, it gives you a rabbit from inside of it, right? Okay. On that rabbit's warren was a sigil called uh, Fragility or whatever it's called. The one that's on the two rats that are next to each other. And what that does is give you a copy of the card back in your hand. So when I put down the rabbit's horn, it gave me a rabbit that had that same sigil. So when I put down, every time I put down a rabbit, it will put a rabbit in my hand. Rabbits go down for free. The rabbit's horn cost one. So I use, and if I got it on my first hand, I'd use the squirrel, put down the rabbit's horn. The rabbit's horn gives me back a rabbit's horn and a rabbit because of fertility or fragility, which is on the rabbit's horn itself. Which also, so that, that's how I'm getting it back as well. So I use, then I use the rabbit's horn to summon another rabbit's horn. I got two, two rabbits now. And then from those two rabbits, I'll constantly have two rabbits in my hand because they go down for free. So that way I was getting out all of my cards constantly or just getting out a bunch of bones by like tributing stuff over and over again. So that really worked out, made it real easy. Except for when I didn't get that to start with, my deck was terrible because I started to rely on that too much. So that's what ended up killing me in, uh, in my last one. But I did get both of those sigils on the death card from that run. So now I have a card. I call it King X. Card has three health, three damage. Those sigils that let it basically keep spawning more creatures and copies of itself. And then, uh, what is it? You choose the health, the sigils. And then the cost one also. It has the same cost as the rabbit's one, so it all worked out. Pretty much I got a rabbit's one, but stronger. But now I gotta figure out what this this skull card is. And I think it's the last player card, or like story card, basically. Hopefully we can figure that out in a second. What's this saying? I gotta put a squirrel in a I've still never done something like this yet. The one time I thought about it, I didn't wasn't able to do it and just never end up with the cards that are on the board. Cause I don't try to match those and i still haven't done anything with the clock either but i finished the safe i found the card in this basket right here um and i don't think there's anything else i can do it gave me a hint about highlighting the the uh knife right there which i used on accident once but i'll show you if i need to so i don't know where that card just went because it kind of glitched right before i picked it up so now it sounds crazy but i'm gonna pause it until that card shows up again or at least see what happens if that card shows up. So we'll find out in a second. Okay, so like I was saying before, how I created this card King X, I did manage to find it because I was looking for it super fucking hard, honestly. Every time I came into a thing, I made sure like, if it was the one where it's like, oh, a specific type of card, like it cost X amount. I make sure to pick the one that was gonna be king x or reshuffle every time i could like i constantly was doing it so i could find them uh what else right now i'm running insects um but i don't have that many insect cards i have a lot of sigils but that's because i keep mixing sigils off so that's the only thing i feel like that would be even better too well it's already going to be coming into my hand all the time no that pause whatever it's gonna be uh like back in my hand constantly. So I don't think adding this effect, adding this effect to the to the cat actually might be better. That way I can always put the cat down. I think that's my that might be what I do instead. Or do I have items? I don't think I do. No, I don't. I'm actually gonna take more items because I think that's also been what's getting me killed. So I don't have my fish hook right now. All I have is the knife. Take two squirrels, that's not terrible. See if we can kill this, and I don't think we have any duplicates. No, we don't. So there's probably not gonna be any reason to go up to the mix right here. We could sack, oh, but that's gonna make us sacrifice something. And I need more cards. I'm really actually, this is too small of a deck, I feel like. 
uh at least it's not varied enough to be this small i don't know we'll see how this fight goes and depending on how this fight goes i decide like if it's if i fly through it easily then i'm gonna go to the trials but if it's a little difficult then i'll go to the get more cards really it's the mixing off that makes me i'm not even gonna go that way actually because i don't need to i don't have an i don't have duplicates to use that it could give me duplicates like that could be a way to go to get a lot of cards real quick but oh well but this is what i wanted to show about this card from last time so like i said it has the rabbit's warren which is going to give you a rabbit back in your hand and it should the rabbit should have the fecundity i was saying whatever whatever i was saying was wrong before fecundity which is going to let you uh, oh when a card bearing this sigil is played a copy of it is created in your hand so I should be making a rabbit, which can be placed for free every time. It's going to be a little different, maybe. But a rabbit that can be placed for free every time and a copy of my card. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I can just keep using the rabbit to put this card down now. And immediately I'm going to do, what, 12 damage off rip? And I'm getting a rabbit in my hand every time I put down the rabbit because of fidelity, too. So even if something happens where I lose this whole hand, say I'm fighting the, uh, the prospect and he wipes out each one of these King X's, right? Then as soon as he starts breaking those back, I can use these rabbits to, I can immediately use, immediately use one of these rabbits to put down another King X and start fighting that way again. So like I'm finna one shot and get hella money off of this. And this was the setup that I was trying to do on my last turn. And it was even better that it gave me that card to use for its sigils because now I have this monstrosity of a thing. And the only thing that can go wrong is if like, actually, I don't even know what could go wrong at this point for me to lose the game. But that's got to be some sort of achievement, right? Like 12 at once. There's got to be some achievement out there. Or maybe like you have to do even more damage all at once. But I don't even know why I thought that was, well, no, because I could have not got that card. So I'm not going to act like start trying to be cocky or some shit. Or damage. I think damage is gonna be our best bet because everything has at least one, and I know we have quite a few that have more than one. Really, all we have to pull is one with two, yeah. See if we get anything good. More rabbits worn. More rabbits worn. Or this will let me jump and get something really big from something small and based on the hand that i have set up that's going to work a little bit better i need a card to sacrifice though and that's the thing and it might be that bullfrog that i just grabbed at Ooh, the wolf the wolf is the only one that costs two blood ura yuli i'm going to hold on to ura yuli because i can not even technically i can easily get him out i'm actually yeah, i'm going to hold on to him the wolf is going to be gone this will give us another boon of bones. I think I already have one. So it's, this should make sense. I know you can have more than one. I don't know why that dot, that red dot stayed for a while. There's another trial right here, but I still don't need to duplicate. Although this could have gave me a duplicate. It, this would have given me cards to make two, like to use for duplication. And then I could have used it there, but I still don't feel like that would have been worth it. Right now on my insects, I have insta kill. So I'm going to try and get, uh, more card, more insect cards. Or see if I can get a magpie, cause that would be cool too. At this point, yeah, all these fights are gonna go pretty quickly. So I'm probably gonna leave them all in since it's not gonna be like a huge back and forth. It's just going to be this setup and be taking my turn. All these teeth overflow, but I haven't found the trapper this whole time. I actually walked past the shop. Hopefully I can run into it before then. Oh, that's not the final boss. So I still have time. So yeah, I'll go this way first. I don't think I have any cards that I want to boost right now. Let me see what I get from here first though. Nothing necessarily good. Although the skink's ability with its tail would be nice. Oops, I meant to go forward. I still haven't seen anything about that uh 
that skeleton card I told you about, which is making me feel like I'm crazy now. But uh, just haven't seen it yet. So we have one insect, but we're calling ourselves insects. But we have three reptiles. No, we have two insects and three reptiles. It might be better to try and switch to reptile for a second. I was trying to see if there's anything worth leveling up. If I can level up the Gek or the Cat, that would be fine. Or if I can get more damage on my Stout or my uh, Stink Bug. So I'm going to check out the campfire. I've pretty much said everything that they're going to say now since we've hit all the spots and I've already spoken to them. So it's going to give a plus to health. Giving a plus to health to the cat would be good because it has this burrow effect, which is kind of shitty. Well, actually, not even kind of shitty. It's pretty shitty since I just want the cat to be in a safe spot the whole time. And I'm, I'm going to try and double the cat up. Ooh. And so they're still just eating it. I wanted to see if I can double it up because that burrow ability on it really does make it pretty shitty. And even three health isn't good enough in a boss fight scenario. Uh, especially with other cards that can do its job better. So that's the only issue that I had with it, with, with keeping it basically. That's going to push to the side. Ooh, and they have a mole man coming in, but I can one shot the mole man. So I don't have to worry about that. And it goes for an empty space. Okay. And this will keep the skin safe for two turns, although it will. Yeah, okay. I'll put this here to instantly kill Mole Man when it tries to attack. And. I use the Gek to get down the Bullfrog. Ooh, this is a bad time to get that card. Actually, it's not the worst because that's going to switch after it does this attack, so it's going to move over. The only thing I can't do, I won't be able to kill this time, but I will take that elk out immediately, actually. That, uh, ooh, what that? Oh, fuck, I forgot I had insect. All right, that's even better, actually. Okay. Got the stout, but if I can get something else to bring out my, um, Stout, that'd be nice. So I can have two damage on my worker ants because I kind of soft built for ants, but didn't really work towards it. I just ended up with two sigils that gave me ants. I can make something off in a second if I want to, but let me see if I get a duplicate. Duplicate? A duplicate. Could power up the frogs for safety from a distance. I don't have any pelts. I need to get pelts before this last fight. Yeah. Shit. I'll reroll this. I don't want those that bad. I'll take this. That's a defense card. And I might mix that sigil off immediately, actually. Mix them off of you and give it to you. That way, if it, when it gets played, actually, no. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand, and this is going to make it go from my hand to the field for free. So that's kind of like a cycling defense card, basically. And really, even if it gets killed right before I get hit, actually, no, when it gets killed, it returns to hand. It depends on which orders go, those go off in, because potentially it could get ki killed and instantly put itself back down, depending on which order. Yeah, but let's see if we can take on the trapper and the what you call it all at once. Now, I don't want to come out with that alpha strike of uh, King King X because I'd instantly have to fight the trapper after that. Or not the trapper, but the trader. 
can't remember who's first. I think the traders first. I'm gonna hit that spot with a lot of damage if I can, but I hit it with this first. Damn, I have everything else I have to defend from too. These two both are gonna deal one damage. So let me get this down for free. So I shouldn't worry about trying to put it down. And I should put down the skink here first. Now I can use the tail to potentially summon something as well. Actually, that's only when it dies also. Never mind, it's when it takes a hit. That's gonna make a pelt right there. This will give me an ant to put down in a second. give me a pelt or no okay it does give me a pelt so i need to kill their things slowly then because i can generate pelts for myself i'm gonna use this ant to do it actually okay everything that's up right now is gonna die this turn the pelt okay okay so I don't want stuff to last for too long though Looks like a weird effect just hit the screen but I'm not really sure I'm gonna have four wolf pelts Okay, I'm gonna out damage him this turn, so that's fine. But I do need to hurry, get this on though. I don't wanna put that down yet still. Actually, that's fine because it's gonna go back into my hand. So it'll still be safe. And I can get Ura Yuli down in a second also actually, so this is actually gonna be good. And to protect this card, just to make sure it comes back, I'm gonna use it to bring out these cards. And this should also give me a bunch of extra teeth too. Hopefully I'll be able to buy some uh, stuff in a second. I should be able to take out four of its cards though. I know my main target are usually bears and sharks. It gave me another wolf pelt for free. Okay, I'll take that. Shark, bear, vulture, definitely gotta go. Actually, I don't know about the vulture. Is anything gonna do insta kill? I don't like flying creatures, so I'm gonna take out those. And it's gonna do three damage, so the elk is gonna come in. And the elk might be an issue to kill. Everything else, I'm not scared of killing, but that elk is, that elk just had too much health. It was gonna take more than one hit to kill. Uh, at this point, I'm really just, oh, I could bring out Ura Yuli and then bring X right back out. I've never brought out Ura Yuli before. I just kind of have him. If I can get a card that has the card counter ability on it though, this hand would really be disgusting. Cause I just keep putting that, like keep using X to kill itself over and over again. Fill my card with rabbits. Then that card's gonna do like however much damage until I decide to stop. Really, I could use it to keep charging up and do like 40 damage at once if I wanted to. Um, but that's it, that on this turn. I mean, Aura Yuli kills on one hit immediately. Oh, I left its actual tail. I don't know if y'all saw that for a second, but it wasn't like, it didn't do like the lizard's tail thing. It did an actual coyote tail. I didn't expect that. It makes sense just from what this game has done. Look at my like pile of bones. So I'm not surprised. Well, I am surprised, but it's just cool that they still did that. 
Oh, let's see which one to take. Balance wise, actually not even balance wise. I think I'm just going to take a Mobia because I like their sigil. Now, I'm just hoping to be able to pass these trials and get a few sigils or at least a few extra boons for the final boss. I don't have any. I have four pelts. I have full equipment and I have nothing I want to switch off. So I'm going to go here first. I have hella money. Yeah, but that's all I could do. Okay. Well, I just wanted to see what happened if I went there with nothing. All right. So my hands are not full of shit that I don't like, which is a good thing. All right. Uh, a trial of rarity. Do I have rare cards? Oh, sprints I definitely don't have that. And I still don't have that ring. I want to learn about this ring. All I need to do is pull one rare card, don't I? Great. Wait. A gek is rare? Uh, I guess so. Because there's another card that goes down for free, so it does make sense that it's rare. It's like, it's a rare card, but it's not a strong card because rarity and strength aren't, a, aren't always equivalent. Plus, it's a tactical advantage. Uh, a boon of goat's blood. Uh, you will start a battle with a black goat on the board. Uh, you will start a battle with the Grand Fur on all of the spaces. Uh, a boon of magpie. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm taking the magpie. Don't have dive. Do I have flying? I don't think I have flying. I don't have any pelts. Okay, so I'm losing this one. I might have a flying card though. That's the only- ooh. Can I back away? It says set the clock to 11 right here. But I don't know if I'm, I need to make sure I do that when I get the chance to. Uh, let's see. I might have an airborne. I know I don't have skins because you just went through the trapper and I definitely don't have waterborne. Okay. Well, that's fine. We did get the magpie. So when we first draw, even if we don't win on like our first turn or whatever, once we go to draw a card, we'll immediately pull out a bad in or not a bad in X and win King X. I think there's a normal X in there somewhere. And a flash on the lights. Okay, now let's see. Can I back away from the table? Are we straight in? Because when I set the clock to 11 outside of normal game, it doesn't go. All right, well, once we're in a game, I know we can't back away. So this is the final test. Three flames. I know he takes out the moon. I can't remember what happens between his phases, though. Like, should I be? Should I go all out immediately? Do remember the mask now. Forgot about those at first. We have King X. Actually, if we have King X. We're good, aren't we? I think so. Let's just do our thing real quick and see. Cause I think we should be set because. He doesn't change what's in your hand. It's what I keep forgetting. Or at least not like being mindful, whatever. It's that King X is protected from those things that just destroy everything on the field because it saves itself in your hand and not on the field. It's not a potential that its sigil just gets negated or something like that. It's just that strong. That, that moment was gonna put up a good fight. If it was enhanced in any way, it definitely would have stopped. Like if it had more health at all, it probably would have stopped me. The moon soaked the forest bed, gave rise to a shadowy figure, gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Oh, I made divine. Divine's the one I made that time that, oh, I made it the time before this one. So whatever I left off on, that's where divine came from. Lilo's also a hella good card. The match that I made King X in, I had Lilo and she started off. That's the card that was carrying. I'm still finna like fucking body those hoes though. Uh, okay, I'll take this. Oh yeah, that's right, the magpie. So I'll get you in my hand now for defense. 
And next time I draw, I'll bring Ura Yuli out into my hand. That way I can use all these King X's to summon them. Why is that got eight health? Nah, what's it got eight health for? Card counter. And I have hella cards in my hand, huh? Uh, well, that's fine, though, because it's going to die this turn. Bring out uh, Ura Yuli. Use the squirrel. Not the squirrel. Use the what you call it to get it out. Almost did that wrong. I'm still nervous that for some reason this is going to stop working. I feel like the music's a little loud. Let me turn myself up some. I've probably been talking like on par with the music for Hellas. Uh, I'm still a little nervous that this isn't going to work out though. But it should. This one's definitely going to kill. This will be pretty much a one shot. Yeah, we're botting everything he puts out now. I'm hoping for something different to happen once we beat this. Because he didn't even get a chance to use the, uh, what you call it? We have an insect out now for insta kill. Or it's the moon again, but second, this is the second time I've been here. I haven't fought this before, or I haven't fought this since the first time. And now we grab the Amobia just in case. Of course, it gets the flying sigil when we just lost for not having it. I wonder if it would have got the random sigil that we needed. That'd be interesting to see. Cool. Didn't even need the King X's. You're not the first to triumph over the moon. But go on. Finish it. Yeah, what is it? Last time, didn't it take me another turn to finish it? Immediately, one turned him. I heard the noise of the teeth, but... You had won the respect of the strange cabin's inhabitants. Gotta try every time. So we're standing outside of the cabin now, then. Please inscribe your name. Well, if King X was the carrier of this one, I gotta go King Prince, right? Ooh, that card divine was missing an eye, wasn't it? That makes sense. I have to look out, look up when this game ends. Actually, the thing, the issue is, but that was a good hand. That's probably where I'm going to end this video. The issue is, and I'm probably going to switch to streaming this game more so because of the, uh, was that a bonus life? Let me see if I can relight these first. Get some extra teeth every round. I want to see what I can do with this thing. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to put something else in that spot eventually. Can't do anything there. Did I not name that card? Oh, I named it X, and then we have Prince X. Damn, I still don't know what happened with that skeleton card right there. Now it sounds crazy, too, I bet. Still nothing happens when we set this to 11. Oh, shit. Oh, I found the ring. Okay, cool. Great. Um, oh, shit. Now I can't start streaming it yet, huh? I at least got to show what happens next when I get to the end with the ring. Okay, so I got the ring, and I assume this is going to be a bonus life? Yep. Okay. That makes sense. 
Your persistence is growing quite tiresome. Do you truly wish for your skill to be masked by this cheat? Yes. How will I know if you are truly worthy? He uses three lives every time and the fucking moon. Get out of my face. All right, but that's going to be all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All that stuff helps me grow the channel. I'll get this out to you as soon as possible because, again, I'm, like, trying to catch up on stuff that I didn't feel like. Well, like, the last stuff didn't didn't make sense to show because it was just me playing through and dying. I didn't make it to the end to have, like, any sort of progression like we had in this episode. So that's going to be all. Still trying to figure out what happened with that skeleton dude, but don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. It helps me grow the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.